My name is Kim McAllister. I'm one of the senior trainers here at Dolphins Plus Bayside in sunny Key Largo, Florida. Dolphins Plus in Key Largo has been open since 1979, over 35 years here in our community, and it is a dolphin research and education center. We invite guests from all over the world to come interact with our dolphins from everything from a dockside kiss program to a deep water structured interaction. Animal care is a main part of our day as trainers. We work with uh, the 11 Atlantic wild nosed dolphins in our population, hands on daily in a variety of sessions from voluntary medical care um, and veterinary procedures to relationship building sessions and enrichment sessions. So every day is a little bit different. We have 11 Atlantic bottlenose dolphins ranging in age from 14 months to over 30 years old. Obviously you can't make a 500 pound animal do something it doesn't want to do. It means that they're enjoying what they're doing and learning definitely new things every day. So we find that our animals are particularly motivated by learning new things. Just like people, no two dolphins are the same. That not only goes physically how they look, but um, physiologically their diets range from drinking mostly milk from their moms to eating almost twice the amount as the other dolphins because they're actually providing for two animals. So as trainers we are very specific in how we arrange their diets in order to make sure that they're getting the best amounts of protein, fats, and different um, nutritional needs based on the different life cycles they might be in. That's one of the best parts about building our relationship with the animals is that we can notice any subtle changes either physically or behaviorally with the animals. Um, and if we notice something, we bring it to the attention of our vets on their behalf and we can proactively manage a lot of those uh, medical concerns that might be common for this species or something that might just come up. Dolphins get sick too, just like people. And they can be trained to slide out between anywhere from six to eight people for what we call a voluntary restraint. So that allows the trainers to touch and hold in different ways so that if we needed to transport them for a medical procedure, for a hurricane evacuation, or other parts of the lagoon for different social reasons, we have the ability to do so. They're very social animals, so not only are they very social with each other, but they're very social with us as their trainers and ultimately our guests. So uh, being able to work with them every day just builds that relationship even further.